Knox. And indeed, I am here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's show you how to put that money to work for you, people. Hashtag bet that is no other than simply the number one handicap show on social media, people. That's me, Mike Knox. And indeed, I spell my name with three X's because like the money you will win, I am hardcore, people. Listen, and a man who is as humble as I am, I'm humble because I talk a lot of trash. And I talk a lot of trash because I'm humble. And when I have not had the successful two weeks that I had in week one, as I've had historically over my record, it's okay. I stand before you a humbled man. A humbled man who doesn't want you to lose money. My job is to show you the money, not to lose the money. But with every gray cloud in the sky, there's a silver lining. And my playbook is simply this. No matter what, I am still five and two with my locks and my upsets. So yeah, overall, okay. First week, 10 and five, three and oh. Okay, locks, upsets of the week. Last week and this week, not so damn good. Got me still hovering just under 500, okay? With 25 up and 20, uh, 20, 25 down and 20 up. But it's okay. I will right the ship. As I said before, week one, two, and three are the hardest weeks in the NFL to handicap. Now, I knew that coming in. I also have rules for a reason. The number one rule in handicapping. You already know it. Come on, sing it with me. Double digit point spreads in the NFL are disrespectful. I broke my own rule. How can I expect you to follow the rules if I'm breaking my own rules? It's okay. I digress. Okay, number two rule. Not only is double digit leads in the NFL disrespectful, double digit double digit point spreads in your division is double disrespectful. Like I double dog dare you. It's double disrespectful. But it's okay. I'm gonna give you the bait. You're gonna go fishing. You're gonna bring that wad of money in, and you will come back to me and say, Yo, Mike Knox, you showed me how to. Bet that. So let's go ahead and get these games started this week. You can follow me on Twitter or wherever social media is sold, which is absolutely free. At my name's sake, Mike Knox. Also, the station giving the identification 1340 AM Fox Sports on Instagram, Twitter, also wherever social media is sold. 96.9 FM, also there in the Richmond, Virginia area. Hello, the Rams tomorrow night going to be down not one, but two of their starting cornerbacks. And they're still favored by seven points? Yeah, we know the Vikings got their faces fold on them. Shots out to the NFC Championship game. But we already know that, okay? When we get the same Minnesota as we got on Sunday against Buffalo, of course we won't. Why? Because I told you guys who are in the DMV area who has been listening to the Soul and Sports over at Fox Sports Radio, cheap pop, but it's not. For the last couple years when I was covering the Washington Redskins, that Kirk Cousins is, I call him the magic man. Now you see me? Now you don't, right? Forget shake and bake. It's the magic man. That's what you get with Kirk Cousins. Is he or isn't he? And last week, he flat out was not. But what I know for a fact, and I'm going to say it right now, because everybody's going to run from it. Everybody's going to be scared of it. And I have to come out to bat, off, I mean, up to the plate with the bat in hand and give myself an Aaron Judge. Matter of fact, I'm not a Yankee fan, so I'm going to take it to my hometown Chicago Cubs. I want to go out here and I want to Rizzo this thing. I want to hit this out the park. So I want to do it early, okay? Not a short field like in Wrigley, all right? I'm going to the Monster. I want to go to Coors Field. I want to go to Petco Field. I want to show you the money. Lock it up right now. First out the bat tomorrow, Thursday. Lock it up. The Rams triggered by seven. Oh, they're going to win the game. I do believe the Rams win the game because the Rams are a better team. But you know what? I don't care who wins or who loses. I care about the points. That's why you're listening. That's why we're here. Get me. Lock it up. The Vikings will cover the seven points tomorrow. Give me the Vikings. Then we got the New England Patriots. Favorite by seven at home against Miami. Miami's undefeated. The New England Patriots are having all kinds of troubles and problems. But here's another problem. Tom Brady against Miami doesn't play too good. In Miami! But they're not in Miami. They're in Foxborough. And all the news in Foxborough this week is that the Patriots aren't who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. But you know what, people? They're the Patriots. We know who they are. They will right the ship. Tom Broadway Brady, the GOAT, will fix the ship. Okay? Belichick, I'm sorry, Belichick will right 
the ship, okay? Give me Miami to lose this game and give me the Patriots to cover the seven. I'm sorry. I'm riding with Tom Brady until proven otherwise. Then we got at home the Indianapolis Colts off a very close victory. Uh, loss, I'm sorry, last against my Philadelphia Eagles, taking on Houston at Indianapolis. Now, here's the game, all right, for you betters out there. 1-800-GAMBLERS-ANONYMOUS, you already know the number, okay? Make sure you use it if you bet certain games. This is one of them games, I'm not sure should you stay away. Should this be a hashtag, do not touch? But no, my record right now, I can't afford a do not touch game. I gotta come back. And how do we come back? Andrew is not completely out of luck. Why? Because Houston... Okay, Houston, I'm going to say it one more time, Houston, we have a problem. And Deshaun Watson, right now, unlike Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City, who is a problem, the problem with Houston might just be Deshaun Watson. And is he completely healthy off that knee? We shall find out. I love Houston's defense, Indianapolis. I just don't know. But you know what? Andrew, who's running out of luck, is going to get a win. Andrew Luck. We'll get a win. Just not this week. Give me Houston to cover that right there on the road against Indianapolis. Then we got Atlanta. Uh, how do you let Drew, I run slower than Mike Knox Breeze, run a ball in for a touchdown? Not once, but twice in the same game. And wants to put the game in overtime and miss on a hit. He didn't want to get hit. He braced for it. He spent and he said, thank you, Touchdown Jesus, in South Bend, Indiana, where Notre Dame play. Well, I'm a brawler maker from Purdue. Thank you for not hitting me because I am still a saint. Got away with it and went into Atlanta and won that game. But Atlanta has something to prove at home against the Cincinnati Bungles. Listen, say what you want to say. Cincinnati is a good team, but they're not going to be better than Atlanta this week in the new stadium. Atlanta, give me the five and a half to cover that right there. Then we got the Packers of Green Bay, fresh off of a, a, a 10-point spread here, guys. At home against Buffalo. Ten points at home against Buffalo. Do you expect me to put my money on the line not once but twice for Buffalo? Number one for the handicap. Come on. I'm listening. That's right. Double-digit leads in the NFL are disrespectful. I cannot go with Aaron I'm a bad man, Rodgers. No matter how much I want to do it, I'm going to break my rule again. Give me Aaron Rodgers and the 10 points in Lambeau, Buffalo. I'm sorry. I got to go against you this week. I hope you don't cover. Then we got at Dallas, for about three against the Detroit Lions. Fresh off the victory against New England. Dallas, Zach, Dakota, Rain, Prescott. Can't you throw the ball over 150 yards? Give me Detroit to cover this game on the road. Give me Detroit with the upset. Matter of fact, hey, America's former team. Yeah, you the Cowboys. Upset of the week. The Detroit Lions go to Dallas and went out right. Give me Detroit. Then we got Jacksonville at home by eight points against the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. And guess what, y'all? This defense is mad. This defense is pissed. Off in Jacksonville. And then I feel like no rookie named Aaron Donald, who may be the future Broadway on Broadway in in New York, as he may be, but not this week. Give me Jacksonville and the eight points. Enough said. Then we got Chicago at home going against Tampa Bay. Tough game. Tough game right here to handicap if you ever was one. This is completely a home Favorite by their favorite by three points. Tampa Bay offense looks phenomenal. The the Bears defense, the second coming of the monster, the Whitway looking formidable. I'm going to take Chicago because they're the home dog. No other reason that they're Chicago's at home. This game was in Green Bay. I mean, Tampa Bay, excuse me. I would take in the Bucks, but they're not. It's in Soldier Field. Give me the Bears. Then we got the Eagles on the road against Tennessee. If there's no bad weather, then you know who the quarterback is in Tennessee. The Eagles get a little bit of their run back as Ashawn Jeffrey should be activated for Sunday's game, as well as Jay Ajay. Give me foot up Eagles in the four points in Carson. I'm back to show you I'm not a fluke wince. Then we got Seattle at three at on the road against Arizona. Give me I mean, this is not a tough one here, guys, because Arizona is going to start the rookie who came in last week and was not fairly treated to come in with two minutes. Say go win the game, throws a pick to lose the game. But I'm a robber Seattle on the road here. Arizona just seemed to be a team I can trust. And not to show you the money. So I'm going to go with Seattle. If I would have one, this would be my other do not touch of the week. But I got to pick a winner. So I'm picking Seattle. Then we got Oakland at home against Cleveland. Fair by three points. I'm sorry. 
I'm going to ride this thing like my wife has been riding with me for 15 years of marriage and 20 years of life. I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Give me Baker, I told you so, Mayfield, to go to Oakland and scare the bejesus out of Chucky himself. Hey, Chucky. You got rid of Khalil Mack. Hey, Chucky, your team is giving up on you. Hey, Chucky, you got all that money, so why do you really care? Because you got $100 million. Give me the Cleveland Browns. Then we got the Los Angeles Chargers. Fair by 11 points again. With that number one ruling handicapping, right? Against San Francisco. They just lost Jimmy G because Jimmy G wouldn't run his ass out of bounds. That's a dumb franchise. Give me Los Angeles Chargers right now to win this game. Dumb, pl dumb play, not a dumb franchise. Give me San Francisco. Then we got New Orleans going to New York. Favorite by four points against the Giants. Here's the thing, though, guys. I just, on the road, at home. This defense that New Orleans has and the offensive potential that the Giants have, it's a toss-up. I'm going to go in the division of the NFC East and say at home the Giants will win the game and upset the point spread makers here in Vegas and win the game. They're underdogs by four points. Give me the Giants to cover the four. Then we got Pittsburgh, Baltimore, a Sunday nighter of a rivalry we've ever seen one. Pittsburgh fresh off the win, luckily on Monday night over Tampa Bay. Baltimore just keeps rolling, 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 rolling. No Fred Dirks needed. It's a rivalry game. Pittsburgh's at home. This doesn't always go that way, but I'm still going to ride with Pittsburgh to right this ship and Tomlin and to get the boys get the boys right in the locker room, most importantly. Then we got the Monday Nighter. Five points is Kansas City on the road against Denver. Patrick, I'm a problem. Mahomes taking on Denver in that defense. The problem with Denver isn't the defense. It's the offense. And if the offense can't score points, how do you going to keep up with Patrick? I'm a problem. Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs offense. It's simple as that, people. Give me Kansas City. Now, from the bottom to the top, from the bottom, we hear hashtag bet that. Give me Kansas City. Give me Pittsburgh. Give me the Giants. Give me the Chargers. Give me the Cleveland Browns. Give me Seattle. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles. Give me the Bears because they're at home. Give me Jacksonville. Give me Detroit with my upset of the week. Give me the Packers of Green Bay. Give me the Atlanta Falcons. Give me Houston with an upset on the road against Indianapolis. Give me the uh, New England Patriots. And give me the the Minnesota Vikings. That should be my double upset and lock of the week. Minnesota will show you the money the same way that's all I've been doing all these years. Don't forget, guys. Hashtag bet that at Mike Knox. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.